New details today on financier Jeffrey Epstein's fight to get out of a federal lockup as he faces sex trafficking charges. Two of his accusers faced him at a bail hearing Monday, and we learned more about what was found inside of his home. CBS4's Mola Lange is covering the case in New York City. In a safe inside Jeffrey Epstein's Manhattan home, prosecutors say they found piles of cash and diamonds, plus an expired foreign passport with Epstein's picture, a fake name, and residency listed as Saudi Arabia. They also discovered new photos of nude and semi-nude young girls, plus bank accounts totaling over $500 million, all reasons the government wants Epstein to remain in jail until his trial. Certainly anybody that keeps thousands of pictures of nude and semi-nude children uh, in, his, uh, in his home um, is somebody that I think could present a danger to the community. Two of Epstein's accusers, Annie Farmer and Courtney Wilde, asked the judge not to release Epstein on bail. Wilde says she was 14 years old when Epstein abused her in Palm Beach. It was a very dark time in my life, but I just hope that basically he gets what um, prosecuted the way he should have been. Epstein's defense attorneys argued that if he wanted to flee, he already would have, and that he has disciplined himself since his conviction in Florida in 2008, at one point telling the judge, it's not like he's an out-of-control rapist, to which the judge replied, how do you know that? His legal team says Epstein has offered to pay for armed guards, surveillance cameras, and a GPS ankle monitor that would prevent him from fleeing. Complicating the decision for the judge, prosecutors say more women have come forward since Epstein's arrest one week ago. The judge says he will decide on bail this Thursday. Mola Lange, CBS News, New York.